wet shaving YouTube video number one. Okay, my name is Ted. I hate shaving. I've always hated shaving. Uh, uh, recently, I started to want to shave again more, and I was looking to replace a lot of cheap stuff, a lot of dusty old garbage like this, you know, like these little guys like this. I still have a ton of these left. Don't like them, don't use them. Uh, I've had lots of different electric razors, uh, even really nice ones like the Schick. This one's, you know, pretty nice for what it is, right? But this is costing you like, I don't know, six or eight bucks a pop or something. Uh, so yeah, uh, I've always avoided shaving. Sometimes I get a bit of irritation. I don't enjoy doing it. Uh, and then I have saw online, I've actually been watching a lot of shave videos. So me and Conley here got the idea that we should make our own shaving video. Uh, inspired by our Amazon package that we just had delivered, this GBS Alum Block Natural Mineral Compound uh, something here. It's the Alum Block Aftershave uh, thing that's supposed to relieve your cuts and ingrown hairs and stuff. Uh, and I bought this because I was really in search of blades. Of course, I got the new. This is the Gillette King C razor, this one here. Uh, I initially got interested in this shaving thing because of the Henson razor in, in Canada here, and they're making a, making a lot of fuss about that. I'm seeing a lot of ads all the time for that. Uh, so I got interested in wet shaving, but I decided I didn't want to spend a hundred bucks. So I got this one here is uh, $30 Canadian on Amazon. This is the Gillette King C. I've heard not bad things about that. Uh, so we had an Amazon delivery, we got the new blades, the Alum Block, we got this soap, this is a Wilkinson Sword soap, it's like about five bucks. We got the brush to go with it, the Wilkinson Sword brush, this is like seven or eight dollars, right? So that's pretty good, we got our, now I actually have shaving soap, I already wet down my face. So again, I'm going to start just mixing up my my Wilkie here for the first time. Uh, I've never used a shaving soap and brush before so I just got this thing wet with hot water. I'm going to stir it up now and see what happens. Looks like it's starting to foam up a bit here. It's not really like foaming up on me. I guess it's bubbling. Uh, yeah, we're getting something happening. It happens when I spread it on my face. It's kind of weak. Let me keep rubbing this for a while. It looks uh, like sunscreen. <laughs> So, uh, again, we were buying blades, and then we, you know, went ahead and got a couple of other things, too, to make it a more authentic experience, since I am enjoying it so much. It's only been about a week, and I'm still using my first blade, <laughs> right? Because uh, I got the I got the razor for Father's Day, right, Conley? Yes. Uh, so I've been, using, uh, I've been using it for about a week now. This is my first time ever using this brush, so I don't know if I'm doing it right or anything like that so I thought it'd be good to have a shave video from the perspective of a beginner because uh, it seems like all these shave guys are really into shaving they have all the cool kit and everything and they know all the names of the different razors and the blades and everything right anyway back to blades now we want to see which blades are best so with this uh, alum block thing that I bought it also came with an assortment of blades. Because so like it came with I think 32 blades in the Alum block for like 15 bucks on Amazon. Pretty good. So I was very tempted to go ahead and uh, put in the coolest looking blade I could find, like maybe a, a, a feather or a derby or something. Some of these other names that I've been hearing now uh, since I've been watching these videos online. But I think. I've been using this Gillette King C blade for a week, and I think as a beginner, I'm not really going to notice a difference. So I think the only way to tell is if I just torture test the blade. This thing, I mean, it looks, I don't know if you could notice a difference by looking at it, but I think the only thing for me to do is to just see how long we can keep going with this original blade. I mean, it works great. It doesn't bother me at all. I got a bowl of hot water here so I don't run the sink. Uh, 
I mean, I don't mind doing it. It's not scary. Like you think, oh man, I'm gonna cut my face off with this crazy old thing. But it's quite easy. You just shave as if you were normal. And it's way better instead of these giant things like this. Like, I can't even get this under my nose to do my mustache, right? Like this guy. And you don't have to rinse it out all the time. It's got holes in the bottom for the stuff to drain out. So, like, it's easier to do and quicker even. Now, my neck, I've always had a problem shaving my neck, so this could get ugly. Feels fine. So, yeah, like I was saying, I think the only way... we're gonna be able to really distinguish one blade from another is to see how long they end up lasting. If I can get, what, five, seven, eight, nine shaves? So it's great, because that's really what motivated me to getting into this was it's gonna be a lot cheaper to shave this way as opposed to buying those expensive uh, cartridges and stuff like that and doing that all the time. Uh, so yeah, and if uh, if a blade can last more than a week, this could be very economical. Now, everybody says you should go ahead and do it twice. I'm probably fine to just carry on as I am, but I'm going to do it twice. A lot of the online shave guys will even do it three times. They'll go, you know, with the grain, cross the grain, and then against the grain. I'm not going to go against the grain. I have kind of sensitive skin. So I'm just going to go, and I'm only going to do my neck once. So I'm just going to do, uh, I'm going to go sideways on my face now. Uh, back to my blade logic, I think the next blade I should test is like the cheapest one I have. So as soon as I notice that this one is not doing it for me anymore, if I notice, i got to look in my mirror here. If I notice anything at all that this is not performing as well as it once was, Right, then that's going to be time for me to change it. And we're going to start out with a, a cheap blade. Maybe there's one in the pack that I got there. Again, I got all these, I think I have about probably 15 or 20 different types of blades here. Right, and uh, we're, going to, we're going to start out with a, a really cheap looking one. And just to see how that goes for us. Of course, I am tempted to go ahead and uh, light up one of those feather blades that Geo Fat Boy likes, but uh, I want to try to do a comprehensive test, not like Project Farm style. I don't think that would be really effective for what we're doing here, but just practically speaking, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to change the blade when I think I need to, and then I'm going to uh, uh, take it from there. I'm going to start out at the bottom and say, hey, are cheap blade absolute garbage? Are they okay? Are they just as good as Gillette? Right? And I'll work my way up and I'll find, hey, are these... Because the feather blades, they're like four times the cost of your average blades. A lot of the blades you can get a hundred blades for... 10 or 15 bucks and the feather I think is like 40 so you know what I mean let's we'll do some testing we're going to carry on this is probably going to take a year or so but uh, we'll keep making videos and we'll keep testing blades and also in the kit we got this loom block which is not something I've ever used before but this is supposed to help with uh, skin irritation it's supposed to be an all natural aftershave uh, and to help uh, reduce razor bumps and all sorts of things like that. It's really incredibly hard to open the package of it. Ah.
where we got that. And so it's like, oh, it's kind of got some chunks broke off of it. Can only get the lights, buddy. <laughs> the fan runs too, so I don't know how that's making for a video. Uh, but you're supposed to just get this a little bit wet. It's like a hard block. It feels like salt. Seems like kind of salt. And you're just going to wet it. And then you're supposed to go wherever. Yeah, you just wet it and then you go where you're irritated. Now it does. Yeah, it is stinging a little bit. It looks fine after. It looks like fine. It actually, Conley's right. It does right away reduce the redness. Even over here was bleeding a little bit, and I think that's kind of stopped. Uh, and just looking at my neck here, I think maybe tomorrow morning it's time to change that blade. So looks like, what did we get? We probably got five, five to seven shaves out of that Gillette King C blade. Okay, we'll try to track it more accurately moving forward. Got a slinch.